Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I want to show you how you can use your Cricut machine and your Cricut pens to create an embroidery design. So quite a lot of people like to do embroidery and the Cricut machines and your Cricut pens are perfect for being able to create a design and then thread on top of it. Equally, if you don't embroider, you can still use this method to decorate an embroidery hoop. They make great decorations decorations so it's just a fun way of being able to use your machine with other outlets now you can use a air machine or you can use your maker for this I'm going to be using my maker today because I'm going to be cutting out the circle size of my fabric however if you were using an air you're just going to do the drawing design side of it and then you will manually cut out the size of your fabric to fit your hoop so the first thing I'm going to do is grab a shape and I'm going to grab a circle now this circle I'm not going to cut, this is just to help me with my sizing. So the inside of my hoop is about 9 inches, so I'm going to make my circle 9 inches. I'm then going to duplicate that circle, I'm going to add 2 inches onto it and that is the circle that I am going to cut out. Now as I say if you were using an air you just wouldn't do this part because you wouldn't be cutting out the circle. You will just be doing your sizing and your design. I also want to change the colour of my circle so I'm going to go to line type, it's still set to cut and I'm just going to change it to white. And then I can come to my layers panel and I'm just going to hide it. The next thing I want to do is go to images and you can see I've already typed in unicorn. There are a lot of beautiful unicorn images to choose from so I'm just going to scroll down and choose which one I want to work with. I still feel like we haven't got over Christmas but we are heading towards Easter so we will choose the Easter Bunny unicorn. So I'm just going to bring him over to my circle and I'm just going to size him how I want and of course if I want to change his size I can unlock him and I can then come in and transform it. Once I'm happy with the sizing I can then just get rid of that circle. I'm then going to click on my unicorn and I'm going to change the line type from a cut to a draw. And then I'm going to ungroup. The reason I'm ungrouping is I'm going to use a different colours. So first of all if I was doing it as a decoration I would want to use different colours anyway to make it nice and bright and secondly if I was using it to embroider with the different colours are obviously going to work better with the different colour threads so as close to a colour as you can get to your thread is perfect. Obviously we're going to be using fine tip pens for this as well. So let's just click on the horn and next to our line type we've got our colour box and I'm going to just choose a colour. Now you may not for example have candy corn, you may not have that exact colour but you will have a colour similar to that. You do not need to use the same colour pen as you choose in design space. The reason you're choosing the different colours is A so that the machine knows that you want different colour pens and B it's just to give you a guide of the colours you're going to use but you do not have to use the exact same colours. The machine will only know that you've put a pen in. It won't know whether it's red, green, yellow or pink. So we can then change it to candy corn. I'm then going to click on one of my flowers and again I can come up and I can just change the colour. Let's do a purple. I can then click on my other flower and again I'm just going to come in and change each of the colour layers. Once I'm happy and I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to group it back together. So if you were using an air at this point you would go to make it. However I am using my maker and I'm going to use my maker to cut my fabric out with the rotary blade. So I'm just going to bring my circle back, just going to work out where I want it to sit. I'm going to highlight it and then I'm going to attach. So it will then draw my image using my different colour pens and it will then cut out my circle using my rotary blade. We can then go to make it.
can see it is a cut and a draw. Now, if you were using an air, you would want to come in and manually place your image at this point in the middle of your mat so that you've got plenty of room for your fabric. And it would just say draw. So obviously if you're using an air, there would be nothing to cut. So it would just go straight to a draw but I am obviously using my maker, so I'm going to choose medium fabrics like cotton. And then it will tell me to load each of my color pens in. So it'll get me to load the first pen in and then it will draw and then it will get me to load the second pen in and it will draw and so on. So I've got my fabric here and I've got my pink fabric mat. If you're using an air, you can just use a green mat because we're going to make sure that this is nice and secure on either of the mats. I'm going to come in with my rotary cutter and I'm just going to gently cut my fabric to the size of my mat. So once I've done that, I can then come in with my fabric brayer and just make sure that that is nice and secure and flush to my mat. I've then got some masking tape and I'm going to mask all the way around my mat. So it's covering my mat and my fabric. The reason for this is that when you're using the pens, they will drag across the fabric and you want to make sure that your fabric does not move. Once you've masked all the way around, you can then use your fabric brayer again, just to make sure that your fabric has remained nice and flat and flush to your mat, and also just to secure your masking tape. As I said, you do want to make sure that you are using fine tip pens for this. If you're using your air, you're just going to need your pens. If you're using the maker, then you'll want your pens and your rotary blade. drawn now if we were using our air we would just remove our masking tape we would take the entire piece of fabric off and then you would place it in your hoop and you would manually cut it we've used the maker today so it's already cut our circle for us the first thing I'm going to do is remove the masking tape we can then remove the excess fabric Using our fabric brayer tweezers, we can then remove our drawn fabric from the mat. We can then get our embroidery hoop. We can place our fabric over the inside hoop and then we can add the outer hoop. We can tighten it up a little bit and then we can just pull our fabric taut. We can then continue to tighten our hoop and every time we tighten it, we just want to keep pulling the fabric that is then ready to be embroidered or you can just use it as a decoration. You can use it as a hanging decoration, you could use it as a wall decoration. It's completely up to you.